Hello everyone. I want to say something and you may not agree with it and that is your choice. I see this life as an obstacle course. Or maybe I should say like a training class. Maybe I should use obstacle course. I believe in life. We go from one obstacle course to the next, to the next, to the next. And from what I understand, if you do not pass an obstacle, you have to keep repeating it and repeating it and repeating it over and over and over again until you pass it. Stop thinking in your mind, and this may sound very strange to you. Stop thinking in your mind that every problem you get is from the devil. If we look in the book of Job, what did Satan do? I believe Satan could not do anything to Job until he received permission. If you read in the Old Testament, you will know that God was responsible for seemingly bad things that happened to people. Sometimes, I don't know every case, but in some cases, things that may seem bad on the outside, I believe it comes from God. We can't stay the way we are. We have to change. We have to spiritually mature. I would almost say, and please don't take this the wrong way. I know Jesus Christ died for our sins. I believe through him we are saved and all that stuff there. Yes, I truly believe that. But at the same time, what I believe too, we have to earn our way to heaven. Yes, Jesus Christ did die for our sins. Yes, we have to believe in him as our savior and stuff like that. Yes, but at the same time, we have to carry our cross we have to die to ourselves as well. So in a sense, we have to earn our way to heaven. In this life, stop thinking that everything should be perfect. In heaven, from what I understand, in heaven, everything is perfect. This earth is not heaven. This earth is not heaven. The best thing for you to do is not cry all day and all night, not stress over your problems all day and all night. Stop complaining all day and all night. Stop, stop being in a negative mood all day and all night, accept, listen now, accept what we have to go through on this earth. Yes, if you get into trouble, yes, pray fast, sing songs to God, seek God, yes, but accept the trouble, or should I say accept the idea that you are going to have trouble in this life until the day you die. I believe this is a pure hard fact 
for some people. Very hard for, maybe it is so hard for some people to accept that. We can't stress ourselves so much about every bad thing that happens to us. We can't. We are in an obstacle course. We are in, should I say, training school. I went through training before for something. And let me tell you, it was <laughs> extremely hard. But after the training, things became easier. And sometimes the training, sometimes the training was hard, sometimes it was easy. I hope this makes sense to you. In this life, Sometimes the training is hard. Sometimes it is easier. Sometimes it may be less hard than what we have encountered. Maybe it will gradually get harder and harder as we go. This is not... Stop looking for your perfect life in this world. We are not going to have a perfect life in this world. We need to strive for perfection in our behavior and stuff like that, but the peace you are looking for is in heaven. Yes, I believe God can give you peace on this earth, but that perfect peace, I believe, I believe what many people are looking for, let me say it like that, you will have that in heaven. So while we are on this earth, train. There is a purpose while we are here. We are not here to just eat, sleep, work, and die. No. We are here to live for Jesus Christ, to be trusted and to be tested and trialed and get to heaven. I may not be as wise as another. I may not be as zealous as another. I may not do as many works as another, but it doesn't really matter. We are running our own race. You may be on a level 20. I may be on, to make this easy to understand, you may be on a level 20 and I may be on a level 5. As long as I am striving for perfection, yeah, I may fail more than you, but I believe in the end I will get to heaven because I am trying to do what is right. I am asking God for help and stuff like that. We are in, and I believe too, once we get into heaven, we are going to be rewarded based upon what we did on this earth. We are in training school. We are on an obstacle course, so to speak. When bad things happen to you, I believe a lot of the time it is for our good. It is for our good. Do you know some of the things my problems may not be as big as some others, but do you know what I go through? Like in my sleep and being woke up at like 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. And, and all these attacks and, and stubborn people and uh, people who want to use me and mess. Do you know what I go through? My problems may not be as big as another, but I surely do have problems. I believe much of what I go through is necessary. It is necessary. But what if I was a type of person who would extremely stress over my problems day in and day out? How would I be able to function? I know I am in training school. I know I have to go through obstacles. That is part of this, I believe it is part of spiritual growth. 
Should we all stay baby Christians? Should God pamper all of us and, uh, you know, put us over his shoulder and burp us and stuff like that? How can we grow more? How can we become more like Jesus Christ unless we are tested? How can I grow more in my patience if my patience is not tested? If everyone is nice to me, if everyone give me gifts and and let's say they are a pleasure to me, how can I grow more in patience unless unless there is a person with a bad attitude accusing me of things I did not do, a person who just is rude to me and makes trouble for me, a person who has their own problems but take them out on me, I need that person. Oh boy, you may not like to hear this. If I want to grow in person, if I, if I need to grow in patience, I need that difficult person. Have you heard that before? I need some of those difficult people. If I have to be long-suffering, how can I be long-suffering if I don't suffer? <laughs> how can I get bigger muscles? And I am not saying to use drugs and stuff like that, no. How can I get bigger muscles if I don't exercise? Or should I say, how can I get stronger unless I exercised? So in essence, I need resistance. Oh boy. You may not like this, but that is okay. If I want to get stronger, I think in many cases, I need resistance. I need those dumbbells. I need that barbell. I need to use my body weight to do this or that. In essence, what is that? Resistance. So how can you become more patient if there is no resistance? How can you be kind? Or how can I say this? How can you become more long suffering, more patient, I'm trying to think of the fruits of the spirit and <laughs> it's not really coming to me. How can I grow more if there is no resistance? We are not here to party. We are not, should I say, we are not here to party all day and all night. We are not here to have a pleasant day all night and all day. No, we are here for a test. We are here to be tested. You may say, why did God allow this? And why did God allow that? I think in many cases, for resistance. For resistance. We are here, and I truly believe this to be true. I believe we are here to show our loyalty to God. For instance, let's say you come to me and you tell me, Kevin, I am your best friend. I will do anything for you. Kevin, I would take the shirt off my back for you, in essence. How would I know that is true unless the opportunity comes? So let's say I get into trouble and very bad things happen. Okay, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? So I hope this is making sense to you. You need resistance. We need difficult people. For myself, I am not saying I am perfect. Please believe me. But I run into some difficult people. Sometimes I get amazed by how some people react, or should I say act, in ways 
like this person is, you know, like what is really going on with this person? But I guess I was like that in the past. And I believe I am still changing and getting better. We need those stubborn people, those hard-headed people. God, take away all the stubborn people in my life. That is not going to happen. Or should I say difficult people? God is not going to take away all the difficult people in your life. That is not going to happen. Because I believe that difficult person, I believe in many cases, that difficult person is sent there to help you. Help you to have a hard time so that you can grow more in Christ. I think about I am thinking about a difficult person I involved myself with and um, there was a situation in the past where that person did some things I was really shocked about. But during that time, it was for my own good. Now, would I want to relive what happened? Never, <laughs> never, never again. But it was good that I went through all of that because it helped me. It stretched. It really stretched me. It be. Let me say, not only that person, but would I say the entire situation that I encountered around that time, I believe all of that really stretched me, really made me become more patient. I could have became worse, but I want to do what is right, which I am not saying I am perfect, but if you are understanding what I am saying, I believe difficult times are opportunities, I believe they are opportunities to level up in Jesus Christ. And yes, I believe we are to die to ourselves more and become more like him. I believe that we are supposed to become higher and higher in Jesus Christ. So, we need to stop being immature. We need to stop thinking everything should go our way and follow the word of God. Everything is not going to go your way. Just take it. Let me stop here. May God bless us.